Hi, welcome to another video. This one's an information video. So I had this clock sitting in the lounge uh, a few days ago, just calibrating the seconds over a, f you know, a couple of days. I've been speaking to someone about displays, so I started messing about with my 5 and 7 inch display. So I thought, right, I'll just copy this code and stick it onto a 5 or 7 inch. And thought no more of it. So this is the 5 inch 800 by 480 TFT just a regular one from eBay and a Snadpick board and I use the Snadpick because you know it's just convenient plug it in already got the wire set up better than having that fusion board <laughs> yeah sitting on the fireplace in the lounge so when I put this display next to this display I thought yeah they're nice but then over a period of time I thought, hang on, look at the contrast and colour saturation on this smaller one compared to this. So this was actually a few times worse and I played about with the contrast, saturation and brightness in the TFT settings. Made it a small, you know, we've got to be 10-20% better, but compared to this supplied by Microelectronica, that is, you look at the colour purity, colour saturation, contrast this one's actually pretty magnificent this is the ILI 9341 8-bit this driver is the regular SSD 1973 just running a 5 inch display yeah so I'm sitting there watching TV and I thought I want that to look as good as Microelectronica's display so I started having a look on Farnell so if you're into Greek mythology, you might have heard of the Midas Touch a company in the UK called Midas, and they, they, I think they manufacture the TFTs. But so I looked at Farnell and found this five inch 800 by 480 display. That's Midas part number. I thought I'll give this a whirl. 26 pound something plus the VAT. Phoned up their sales department. There were two displays, one was 33, one was 26. I said, what's the difference? And the 33 display, not quite as bright as this one, but had a better viewing angle. This one was brighter and the viewing angle was reduced. I thought I'll go for the cheaper one. Just, it's, it, it was going to be a risk. Will the display be better than this eBay stuff? Uh, and will it work with this board? So this turned up this morning via UPS, ordered it yesterday. This is the Midas screen. And there's a look at the part number. So straight away, what I noticed, this flex cable, this ribbon cable, is more substantial than the stuff on the back of those cheap eBay displays. But I thought, is the contrast and colour saturation going to be better? So let me show you. So one final look before I swap these displays over. So both of these are touch panel. This one, this new one isn't, but I'll leave the protective film on. So that one's got a touch screen covering and so has that one. But before I adjusted the contrast and everything, this was so bland compared to this and I've adjusted it next sitting next to each other you can see it's still pretty bland and this one yeah the, the colors really stand out if you were looking at TVs this would have a high dynamic range and then this one wouldn't that's the sort of difference so let me plug on this new TFT and I'll show you the difference so this is the back of that 5 inch now the five inch has a 40 way connector. The seven inch I think is 50 way. And most of those extra 10 connections are for the extra backlight LEDs. So if I gently unplug this without snapping it because it's cheap and nasty. Folded the old ribbon cable underneath just a gentle bend and plug this new Midas screen on. As I say, it's still got the protective covering on it. Here we go. I'll turn this light off. Now this 
probably so bright that lime green I think it looks like it's whiting out this camera but the, the all of a sudden the yellow and red and my second hand changes color color saturation is so much better I don't think this camera is going to do it justice because it's actually too bright for the camera so I could turn the brightness down in the configuration settings but in real life it actually looks gorgeous so that's zoomed in I can see green in the camera lens hopefully it's not blinding you but now all of a sudden to me in real life not on this camera the red looks more red than this one and before this one was you know astonishing now that easily compares to this and it's brighter But wow, what a superb display. The color representation, color saturation, contrast is superior to the stuff you get off eBay. Now, I won't say the eBay stuff's you know, rubbish, but you get what you pay for. This, just this LCD screen without the board was 26 pound plus the VAT. You can get better ones than this, better viewing angles, not as bright, the whole list to choose from. Uh, my ideas also do the organic LED displays. Get on to Farnell, have a look. But, so it's answering my question why are some displays 70, 80, 100 pound, 120 pound, and some are only 20 or 30? It's because the TFT is so much better. So that's zoomed in on the, this is a 320 by 240 for Microelectronica, and it's a lovely display when comparing it to a cheap, nasty eBay one. And that is the five inch, 800 by 480 from Midas. So chalk and cheese, night and day, black and white. So when it comes to TFTs, Midas have got the Midas touch. They are remarkable displays and at a reasonable budget too. Yeah, £26 for this display. So what I'll, I'll rip off the cheap display that came on with this board from eBay years ago, rip that off and stick this on it. They are available with touchscreen and without touchscreen. Have a look at their catalogue, get on the far now. But yeah, I'm impressed. Thumbs up to Midas. And if you've got a 5 inch screen, so the Farnell part number, where are we? There we are, 266 4764. 5 inch 800 by 480 landscape TFD made by Midas. And that's the Midas part number there. Hopefully, this has helped. Thank you for watching.